You know, this is a really good, uh, a really good example of of what I said to you that everything that you thought was solid will be liquid, and everything will be liquid will be solid, and the world will be upside down. Let me give you a couple of stories here. First of all, Saudi oil attack. This, according to CBS News, now approved was approved by Iran's supreme leader. So what we told you yesterday. Now it may have. It may have come with more credibility, you know, when we did it yesterday because we were talking to the 12th Imam from the well. Yeah. Um, the well that he fell down in the first place. Yeah, in 873. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so... Uh, Actually, he, was, he didn't fall. He's the 12th Imam. Yeah. But his mom put him, put him, put him in the put well. Put the Imam right. down and, there. And she said she's coming back. Yeah, she point. did. So, the, so, so many of the Iranians are waiting for the 12th, the mom to return. He's waiting for his, his mom, mom to return. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of cute the way the whole thing is working. It out. Is. Anyway, uh, what we told you yesterday <laughs> that this was coming from the Supreme Leader is true now. Uh, it did. Um, and we'll give you more on that. Saudi Arabia, they are still... Uh, uh, they have struck back. Uh, we are still looking at uh, uh, other things that we can do. Um, I think we are. It's interesting that we are holding off. Bolton yesterday said that by Donald Trump not striking after the drone strike, we have taught them to do this. I don't know if that's true. Usually mm -hmm. it has always been true, but I, I don't know if that's true this time. I, I don't know what to do. We're in a bad situation here. That's the thing. I don't either. But listen just... to this. Listen to this. Okay, so, you know, the uh, Saudis were going to put up their entire oil system, Aramco, that is privately owned by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It pays mm -hmm. everybody in Saudi Arabia. That's how they keep all of those crazy people in line They've just given them cash. Everybody is living off of oil cash up until recently. Remember when I said everything would be upside down and you wouldn't recognize the world? Well, here it is. Uh, Saudi Arabia is hemorrhaging cash and they're out. They have no more money. Wow. Think of that. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Is broke. Because they weren't saving their money. Mm -hmm. Instead, what they were doing was just paying distributing the, it to the people, paying the population. Yeah. Women in Saudi Arabia don't work. So 50 percent of the population is out of the workforce already. Retirement age in Saudi Arabia for men is 55. Saudi men are allowed to opt out of working in the oil industry and can hire somebody, generally an Indian, an Ethiopian, somebody else to work for them. So they're getting paid. The deal is you got to work for Ramco. Well, these guys are getting paid and they're like, I've got so much money. I'm just going to hire some foreigner to do it. So they don't work. They don't have any kind of history of working. They've hired people from other countries to come in and work. And more than 38% of the Saudi population believes what the UN would call the poverty line, even though the state of GDP capita is among, among the highest in the world. So they've got all kinds of issues. And to show you how bad things are, uh, they have tried to do an IPO of their oil system. Uh, I think this is the third time now. The first time they were trying to raise $2 trillion. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, they, they thought they could. And wow. uh, they only, when they offered the first IPO, $50 billion is all they raised. That's just a little bit short. A little short. A couple of bucks. Yeah. Uh, then they did it again, mm. uh, and it was a disaster. They were expecting to do an IPO uh, this week, and when they did, uh, or when the oil uh, fires started, every financial expert said, don't, wait a year. The prince now has said the conditions in Saudi Arabia are so bad that they cannot wait a year, and that IPO is going up today. They are, they're putting Aramco up for an IPO today. Wow. With all of its trouble. Wow. <laughs> the world's a little unstable. A little unstable. Good thing is, our political system's not. Nor <laughs> are any of the candidates that are running, you know, for the Democrats or Republicans. I mean, I think everybody is totally stable here. Good news. Good news. Good news.